Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace back again with another package video. I received two packages in the mail yesterday, one a video game and one a CD. I figured I'd show the video game first since I've been waiting for this game for such a long time. Well over a year ago, maybe even two years ago, I first heard about this game and I went to the developer's website and I pre-ordered it. Uh, the cartridges were not yet manufactured, uh, but I was on the list. Several months went by and then I got an email stating that the cartridges were then in stock and they were preparing to ship them out. Several months after that I got another email stating that due to high demand they had sold out and they were going to have to order another batch of cartridges from their manufacturer. Well, more months went by and then I got another email stating that uh, they were having problems with the factory that was manufacturing their cartridges and uh, they were taking steps to ensure that this would not happen again but in the meantime a delay in the manufacture of the cartridges a few months after that I got another email this time stating that the game was uh, back in stock and they were beginning to ship them out a couple more months went by and I still hadn't received the game so just last week I sent an email to them and I said where's the game and uh, next thing I know about three or four days later I have the game uh, first off uh, just to show you briefly the the two other homebrews that I have for the Genesis slash Mega Drive from watermelon I have Pierce Solar and the Great Architects this was released in several versions. This is the version that comes with a cartridge and an enhanced CD. This is playable in the Genesis as well as the Mega Drive, all versions, and it was tested in several uh, clones, and it works fine. So what's really cool is. Uh, game is on cartridge and then on the CD is enhanced audio. Now if the system detects that the disc is loaded then it will use the sound from the disc. If it detects that there is not a disc loaded it just uses the sound from the cartridge. I don't know why this was never done back in the day but uh, it took a home brewer uh, to do it and this game was in development for something like five years I was on waiting list for this one for ages and ages and ages and I had first heard about it from a friend of mine here on YouTube Ian Wilson 1978 uh, he's big into collecting for the Mega Drive as I said this will play in a Genesis so uh, they want to try and track down a copy or go to uh, Watermelon's website which is um, www.piercelar.com is the website for this game. I don't know if they have copies still available or not, but anyway. Then I saw a friend of mine on YouTube in the UK. I'm thinking it was Evil Slothman, but it might have been somebody else. But anyway, they did a play video of a game from Super Fighter Team called um, Becker Prince and they had like the second or third batch uh, or their copy was from the second or third batch they that is perhaps the best selling homebrew for the Genesis slash Mega Drive that has ever come out and it's Super Fighter Team has stated they will they have no plans to re-release it it had like four runs and each run was significantly higher than most homebrews uh, something like uh, I don't know I would estimate somewhere around five or six thousand copies eventually of the game were manufactured but that's a ballpark figure and I might be wrong but that sold really really well now Super Fighter Team followed that up with another one called Legend of Wukong this is an RPG and it is also compatible with all NTSC and PAL Genesis slash Mega Drive systems. 
even has a wee little winky. Okay, well, what's the game that I received yesterday, I hear you asking? This is also from Super Fighter Team. Star Odyssey. Now, apparently this game was released in Japan back in the day, but it was loaded down with bugs. Super Fighter Team teamed up with the company that originally developed it and um, got rid of all the bugs and um, polished it up and everything and it's being or is now available for the Genesis slash Mega Drive as well as clones So as a good buddy, Luke Morris One would say, now that I have this game, I'm going to have to pop this in and play some of that. Okay, now to the CD. I recently did a video where I received a five CD set of songs by my favorite member of ABBA, Agneta. All of these uh, albums, all five of them, are in Swedish. And it's really cool, they've reproduced exactly the jacket art for both the front and the rear even to the point of let's see if I can find one listing the songs that are on side one and side two well there are 12 songs on each CD and they're all in Swedish and only one is a cover of an ABBA song and that's SOS all of the remaining songs on the five discs were either written by Agneta or co-written by Agneta, which I think is really cool. Benny and, and Bjorn wrote all the songs for ABBA, and so they get the majority of the royalties from ABBA. Nice to see that she can get some royalties too, although Sweden, from what I understand, has an enormously high tax rate. I went and I ordered a CD of her songs in English. The album is called uh, That's Me, The Greatest Hits. She is just an amazing singer. If you've never heard her uh, sing, then you're missing out. Notice the shirt she's wearing says ABBA on it. Anna Frieda, the other uh, woman that was part of the group, uh, also had solo albums. So I will be looking for hers as well. But I had to get Agnetta first because She's my favorite. Nothing against Anna Frieda, but Agnetta is my favorite. This was published by Polar, which published all of the ABBA DVDs that I have, and I have like five. I'm checking something here. Ooh, a very lengthy 
bio and so forth. This was written in 1998. But what I opened this for was to see if she wrote any of the songs on this CD. She didn't write this one apparently. Nor these. There is a cover of an ABBA song, The Winner Takes It All. And so that one was written by Benny M. Bjorn. It's so nice to be rich. Well, I wouldn't know about that. Oh, she did write, or co-wrote, one of the songs on here, track eight, I Won't Let You Go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That might be an ABBA song, too. I don't have all of their songs. Slipping Through My Fingers was also written by Benny and Bjorn. Agneta co-wrote uh, track 15, The Queen of Hearts. Another one that I think is an ABBA song, in fact I'm pretty sure it was an ABBA song that she's covering here as a solo artist, That's Me. Bonus tracks, okay, track 17, Turn the World Around. Track 18, You're Here, co-written by, or You're There, rather, co-written by Agneta. Hmm, it tells you even that it was the B-side of a single. Uh, the B-side of the single, I Won't Let You Go. Track 19, Fly Like the Eagle. Okay, is that right? Can this be right? This compilation was produced by Igmar Bergman. Is that right? Famous director? Film director? Anyway, I have more CDs coming. I have more video games coming. I have, as I've stated before, 10 laser discs coming and 7 CED video discs coming. So until next time, Stay awesome.